everyone, this is Mr. Clown Zero One. Today we're looking at Star Wars Series 6 of the Disney Star Tours figures. Uh, this series has been out since about August of 2012. I'm just now getting around to doing the video because th there's a few things about this series that make it unique. The first is the inclusion of a Build-A-Figure. If you look back here, when you buy all five of the figures in the set, you can build um, the goofiest TC-13. Each piece is in, in the bottom. You can see which piece you get. But there's a couple other things that make this series unique. Another thing is, if you look at the back there, there's a nice photo. All of the uh, figures have a nice photo backdrop. So if you kept them in the package, that, that's a really nice feature. The other thing is this figure in particular, there was a, an alternate version that was sold at uh, Disney Star Wars Weekends in 2012. You can see there's a few differences in the packaging. Now, sometimes you get caught up and don't realize things. Like if you're in the park, you see these two figures. I kind of wanted to highlight the differences because you don't get the Build-A-Figure piece with this version. So, just try to keep this in mind if you're at a park or if you're at a, a show or something and see these two. Just be aware they are different. Um, you can spot the differences pretty easy. This says uh, Series 6. This one says Series 6 Sneak Preview Figure. On the front that says Star Tours, that says Star Wars Weekends 2012. On the bottom, you can see there's no piece in this one, but you can clearly see the leg in that one. And the backs are different. Here we have the picture of uh, Goofy's TC-13. Here we have a nice picture of Donald Maul. Look at the poster that was shown at uh, Disney Star Wars Weekends. And all of the five figures in the set. So just be aware of that. Just wanted to let you all know. So the first figure we have here is... Donald Duck is Darth Maul. Again with a nice backdrop of Tatooine. Next one I want to show you, which is essentially a reissue, just like is a Stitch. Yoda has Stitch. Or Stitch is Yoda, rather. Uh, he comes with a chair now, and I thought, I've heard they did some improvements on his hands here. He's got a peg there so he can hold the uh, stick better. And I don't think I said it before, but this Donald Maul here is essentially a reissue. They gave him a cloth cape but he's essentially a reissue. This one is, um, I think it's the same figure as we had in the previous series. I don't remember which series it was, but he's been released before. But it's nice they, whoa, it's nice they redid him because this is obviously a very popular figure. And they made him a little different, so, you know, yeah, that's nice. The next figure I'm going to show you is Mickey Mouse's Anakin Skywalker. Though I really wish they would have called it Mickey is Young Anakin Skywalker or something to differentiate. Because we have had Mickey has uh, Anakin Skywalker once before. In one of the previous series, he was a, uh, but it was the adult Anakin Skywalker. See, so again, we have a nice backdrop there. Now we have my, probably my favorite is uh, Pluto is R2-D2. Very nice. And finally, Minnie Mouse is Queen Amidala. So that's all five of the figures in the series. I'm just leave her up there. Um, I just want to give you a quick overview of them. I think what I'll do is I'll do one. I may have already said this. I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but I think I'm going to do one video showing the build a figure, and then individual videos of each figure, maybe. So that concludes our look at the over arching uh, view of the uh, Star Wars Series 6 figures. I'll leave a comment in the show notes. Let me know what you think, and have a great day.